So, I am obviously from Wurga, based in Berlin, um, and today I want to talk a little bit about the benefits of specialization within mobile gaming. But first, who is Wurga? Wurga was founded in 2009, predominantly at that time making games for Facebook. We moved to mobile first in 2012, such that in 2015, about 70% of our revenues came from mobile platforms. So now we very specifically focus on casual games for mobile platforms. And we now have about 250 employees from 40 different countries, all located in Berlin. So we have our very specific international bubble there in Prenzlauerberg. Since 2009, we've had five hit games across three platforms and across the three genres. And these genres are important, so I'll come back to them. Uh, but our most recent game is Bubble Island 2. Um, the original Bubble Island had over 500 million players and 500 million downloads. Um, and we have recently launched this Bubble Island 2, which has a pretty unprecedented five-star rating on Google Play and a four-and-a-half star on the App Store. So if you haven't played it yet, it's absolutely worth looking at. But let's talk about mobile gaming. Mobile gaming is a $40 billion industry. Uh, with some predictions going up to 80 billion by 2018. And as Paul mentioned a couple of minutes ago, getting into this top grossing list is extremely complex. When you give a game away for free, it's very, very difficult to get to the levels of this top 60 grossing across iOS and Android. But what's interesting is if we try and break this down a little bit further, we get three very specific segments, casual, casino, and core. Now, across these segments, not only do they have vastly different players and vastly different design, but they have different skills going into them um, and a different method and different channels for acquiring users. And therefore, there are huge, huge benefits to specialization within this industry uh, if you're going to choose one of these segments and really get it right. So amongst those clear benefits to specialization, it might be within game design designing the economy of the game, designing sales within the game. It might be within user acquisition, uh, where we know the channels that we need to go through uh, to get players specifically for casual games. And it might be within the design of the game as a whole, the art of the game. We know what appeals uh, to the players who play casual games. And so with those clear benefits to specialization, we can look further into the casual mobile gaming markets and, and the way Wurga defines casual. And we think there are three key segments within that market, all quite different within themselves. The biggest is obviously the puzzle, puzzle subgenre, and that's a $3 billion global market. Casual simulation, uh, which is farming games, breeding games, these sorts of things, that's a, a billion dollar market globally. And then the smallest market, but the most niche, is Hidden Object. And Wurga has historically been the number one uh, player in this market. And that's about $100 million. So there are three very specific subgenres there where Wurga has previously had hits and where we are focusing going forward and gener generating that, that level of specialization that's required. Because if we look at the gamers within those markets, it's very, very interesting and not something that many people outside the industry would expect. The puzzle genre, for example, is 60% female, and the average player within that genre is about 39 years old. Casual simulation has the most even split and the youngest players at the age of 36. And then hidden object. Hidden object players are 80% female, and the average age there is 45 years old. And many people outside the industry wouldn't think that we can get these players to monetize in the way that they do. So it's fascinating to see how big these markets are. What's also interesting is, is that these gamers don't commit to just one game. Most of these players have two, between two and five games on the go at any one time. And in fact, there's a 53% overlap between these three subgenres, which gives rise within that specialization to very powerful network effects. I'm going to talk very quickly about, about three of these. The first is within the Wurga network how many times we can talk to players and how many of those two to five games we can encourage players to have Wooga games for. We use social media, we use push notifications, and we can even use in-game cross-linking to send players from one of our games to another. And in this way, we can connect 
and reconnect with our audience multiple times across multiple games and really get them engaged in what we call the Wooga network. The second clear benefit is that player dynamics across these uh, subgenres are very consistent. The casual gaming player is pretty predictable in terms of how they'll spend, why they spend, and when they spend. And as a result, we understand and can forecast our player economics to a very, very accurate level. This then has flow-on effects, obviously, such that if we know how much a player is going to spend, we can choose and allocate money appropriately to acquire those players. And because we know how much we can spend acquiring a player, and we truly know our audience, we end up with much lower and more stable acquisition costs, such that we can continue to spend and continue to grow our games over time. Uh, and where Paul again mentioned featuring, where featuring used to be the, one of the biggest gen generators of new users, we find that we can now grow games slowly over time to really reach those top levels and the top rankings in the app stores. So within Wooga's world of casual games, those, those network effects that I mentioned enable us to connect players across multiple games. It enables us to accurately forecast LTV and the revenue coming from those players and therefore it enables us to absolutely maximize that payoff from the customer acquisition costs and the costs that we're spending. And if you want to see this in action, you should download Bubble Island too. Uh, and with that, I'll leave you to play. Thank you.